During recent decades, the massive introduction of information and communication technologies has become the driving force for the generation of economic wealth and increases in productivity, the introduction of blatant transparency and long overdue efficiency gains in governmental bureaucracies, for cultural production, for the modernization of the health sector and our educational system, and even for the triggering of political revolutions. All of this has become possible because of advances in three basic information operations. These technologies help us to transmit information through space or communicate it. They help us to transmit information through time, store it, and they help us to transform information in a meaningful way, computation. So now we can ask how our storage capacity has changed over time. If we would have stored our combined technological memory on double printed book paper, we could have covered all the world's land masses with one sheet of paper in 1986. Since then our storage capacity has roughly doubled every three years. By 2007 all the world's land masses could have been covered with one layer of books and by 2011 with two layers. In terms of our communication capacity, we find that in 1986 the amount of information actively exchanged through two-way telecommunications networks was equivalent to two newspaper pages per person per day. And the amount of information received through one-way broadcast networks was the informational equivalent of 55 entire newspapers per day. Since then our telecommunications capacity has grown four times faster than our broadcast capacity. By 2007 each person exchanged the informational equivalent of six entire newspapers per day through telecommunication and received the equivalent of 175 newspapers through broadcast networks. And finally, how large is our capacity to compute information in 2007? If 2200 people would execute manual calculations for a period that extends from the Big Bang until now, they could execute as many instructions as our general purpose computers can carry out in only one second. While our technological capacities have certainly become mind-boggling compared to the orders of magnitude with which nature processes information, we are still but humble apprentices. In 2007 the DNA in the 60 trillion cells of a human body stored more information than all of our technological storage devices together. 100 human brains can execute as many neural nerve impulses as all of our general purpose computers combined can execute instructions per second. And the inner circulatory system of only 1000 people send as many blood cells around per second as humankind sends bits around. While natural evolution is certainly extremely powerful, it is also incredibly slow and for our effects stays relatively constant. Technological evolution on the contrary grows exponentially fast as we have seen. In quantitative terms we are reaching those extraordinary orders of magnitude with which nature processes information and we continue to push these limits.